Hello, I'm Laura Turner for Tobin Brothers Funerals Say It Now Week. In March of 2017, my world turned upside down with the sudden and tragic passing of my sister Skye. Today, I'm here to pay tribute and say thank you to someone who has been by my side all along, and especially since that tragic day. Let's find out who it is. Hi, Mum. Hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In March of last year, I was the US correspondent for Channel 9 and I was actually on a day off. I was driving down Hollywood Boulevard with my partner in the car um, and the phone rang. Um, and I pulled over the car and answered and it was my mum on the other end of the phone. And the words she said to me will stay with me forever. It's etched in my mind and in my heart, really. The words that she said were, Laura, we've lost Sky." And it didn't really hit me what she meant. And I actually said to her, what do you mean? And she said, Sky has died. It still didn't hit me. And I remember uh, exactly saying, what? What do you mean? How? And she said, a heroin overdose. And it was those words, a heroin overdose, that struck me, shook me and changed me forever. Mum, I'll never forget receiving that phone call from you that day. Can you remember making it? Oh, absolutely. It's one of the key moments in the tragedy that unfolded starting that morning and that has prevailed ever since. I was asleep in bed. There was knocking at the door, banging at the door, ringing at the door. It was the police. They came in, sat me down delivered the absolute heartbreaking, shocking news. And having done that as gently as they could, asked me who um, I should call or they should call for me to support me. So I, there were two people. You, of course, mm -hmm. knowing that you were in America and I, um, got them to ring Warren, my partner, so because he would be able to come up. But the call to you um, was the most knife-sharp dagger to my heart and, and to yours yep. that will ever be because it, it made what was just this dreadful depiction that the police had given me a reality yeah, because our real. family had suddenly been torn and I told you and you were in a car in <laughs> Sunset Boulevard you're about to go on a holiday I think weren't you yeah <laughs> the next day and um, from then on it was just our lives were shredded together we had to work out how we how we do this where do we go from here how do we farewell my sister, my only sibling, my mother's eldest child? Um, it was uh, indescribably difficult, um, but I've always admired my mother's strength through that time, the fact she could even stand upright um, and put thoughts and words together throughout that time um, was amazing to me and still is. I'm so grateful that um, <laughs> we had each other through that, which we always have through um, Sky's struggles, especially through life. Um, and that culminated in losing her. Uh, but we're so lucky that we had each other um, to lean on. I don't know where I would be without you. On that day, I came home. And ever since, I mean, it's always been, you know, there's been so many really dark days and times, but I've always known, I'll just ring mum. <laughs> mum will have the answers. Mum will, mum will pick me up. Mum will, you know, brighten things up. And to think that you can brighten a situation where your own daughter has died simply because you've got to keep your other daughter going is um, a real testament to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't, I don't know what to say about that. I, I, um, my life has been for my children. 
And that is not, uh, that's no pat on my own back because <laughs> a mother loves her children beyond anything else. And it should have been the three of us. And in our hearts, it will always be the three of us. Yeah. And Sky is always and will always be there somewhere for us. A mother should never have to bury their child. Um, so to sit in a funeral office and, and plan the funeral of your daughter and me sit there watching her do that um, is something that will stay with me always and something I've always admired her for, her strength. I think um, as well, like we have a very unique situation where um, we struggled with Sky for years, you know, there was always a struggle with, with her addiction and, um, you know, mental health issues and things like that. And it was always you and me every day checking in on each other. Are you okay? What's going on? So we already had that really strong groundwork of support. So when Sky passed away, of course that continued. It was, it was shocking stress, but we knew we were there for each other. We, we had an understanding of the situation that nobody else did. Um, so we also had an understanding of each other's struggles throughout the years like nobody else did. And throughout all of that, she was there for me too. And, you know, you could forgive a parent for collapsing, for falling down, for not um, being that vocal uh, and emotional strength, but she was. So she needs to be admired and recognised for that. Well, Mum, I'm here to say it now and to say thank you for always being such a support to me and an incredible, strong role model. Thank you. I love you. Have a good day, <laughs>